In watching some of these track finals, a lot of people have their own philosophies as to who gets what lane and why. If you have the number one time, you get lane number one. Whoever gets there first to ask, gets to choose. It's completely random. I mean, they're all running the same distance, so who cares? Yeah, I'm gonna try and break it down and try and make it as clear as possible for y'all. Let's use the men's 200 meters, for example. Take a look at the qualifiers. Three semifinals. The top two in each semifinal are automatic qualifiers. As you can see here, the big cues. From the big cues, the top four will be randomly drawn to end up in lane four, five, six, or seven. The top four were Noah Lyles, Alex Quinonez, Adam Jamili, and Andre de Grasse. Randomly in four, five, six, or seven. Check. The two big cues left, the fifth and sixth big cues, will be randomly drawn to end up in lane eight or nine. Here you can see that with Ramil Guliev and Kyle Griu. Randomly, eight and nine. Check. Then the final two little cues will be placed in lane two and three. So two and three will be randomly drawn for Aaron Brown and Zizen Yi. Two, three, random. Check. That's it. Seems kind of complicated, but if you want to make it as simple as possible, you know you want to be an automatic qualifier so you can end up in the middle lanes. That's where the race usually happens. But if you want to understand the complexities that I've laid out here, hey, feel free to come back and check out this video whenever you feel like it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>